Hello everybody. In this section, I will talk about creating a 1D spring mass chain which looks something like this. And um, the local attachment that it has is nonlinear. And let us assume that the nonlinearity is known as K2, or let me first give you the nomenclature here. So the mass is m1 and the internal mass is m2 stiffness of this spring is k1 and the stiffness of the second spring which is embedded inside is k2 and this k2 is non-linear so it has a linear part and a non-linear component to it so this is a non-linear multiplied by x square where the x is displacement so this type of a stiffness is a cubic nonlinear stiffness. It looks something like that or that, depending on the value of kn or uh, yeah, depending on the nonlinear parameter. So if, if k2 nonlinear, if the nonlinear parameter goes to 0, then k2 becomes k2 linear and you basically have just the linear stiffness. So <coughs> let us look at how to create this system in Abacus. Um, let me switch to Abacus. I'm going to first create the parts M1 and M2. Let me call this M1, 2D planar, discrete rigid point at 0 0 0 ok and I am going to create M2 similar at 0.5 e minus 3 comma 0 and then I am going to create an assembly of M1 and M2 that means they are separated by 0.5 e minus 3 um, units so which is 0.5 millimeters in my case so we have m1 m2 and they are separated by 0.5 mm what I'm going to do next is create another M1 or basically pattern M1s, all the M1 in a line, and then do the same with M2. And first, M1 M2 connection, and then there has to be an M1 to M1 attachment or spring attachment. So this is the concept. So we will attach all the mass ones together with the stiffness K1 and also the next is to attach M1s and M2s with the stiffness K2 where it has to be non-linear. Now I will first do the first part of creating stiffness between mass 1. Um, so before that I am going to assign mass properties inertia create this mass uh, this is m1 I am going to call it 1 kg and the next one I am going to call it Point five kg. Now that that is through, assembly. Select the two, and nothing in the y direction. An offset of one e minus three, which is one millimeter, and I'm gonna have five of those. So. 
so as you can see the distance between the mass 1 of the first unit cell and the mass 1 of the second unit cell is 1 millimeter and that is the lattice parameter throughout the chain so in this situation we have created 5 masses now the next the next step would be to connect the mass 1s to form the stiffness k1 assembly engineering features mass um, or dashboard let me call this k1 or c1 well c1 so connect mass 1 mass 1 again first point second point first point and second point so that way we are connecting the alternate masses um, I'm going to call this say a thousand for now and dashboard coefficient of 0 0.001 that's damping ok once that is through the next step would be to create the nonlinear stiffness of the internal attachment that stiffness so for that um, we will have to first create a wire and then assign nonlinear properties to the wire because there is uh, create a wire add points one two three four five and it has to create a set of wires okay so now that is wire and we are going to assign a nonlinear stiffness to this wire create a connector section basic translation type axial continue add elasticity property nonlinear force in the x direction now it will ask you for the force versus displacement or the stiffness curve you can copy paste the data from excel and here I have a nonlinearity which has already been defined and I'm going to take the force versus displacement data copy it from here and paste it uh, remember it has to go from negative x to positive x uh, through 0 I'm going to say ok now once the connector property is through assign it to the wire now it asks you to select the wire I'm gonna go to sets and if you remember we created a set a wire set so that selects all of these wires continue okay so <coughs> so once that is through we have created successfully a spring mass system where the local attachment has a nonlinear stiffness which has been defined by us. After this, I am going to quickly go to step, create a step, a uh, dynamic implicit, and let me have this at once again. Fixed 1000 increments, each increment 1 millisecond. So that way there is 1 second time period. Okay. Remember those values may change depending on your simulation but you can have that at those settings right now. Next I am going to create a load boundary condition create displacement continue select the viewport first mass ok u of 1 is minus 4 and I'm going to have a periodic circular frequency 100 cycle, 1000 cycles per second 0, 0, 0, 1 ok make sure you select it ok so now we have the boundary condition set 